Hi everyone, I am Justin and welcome to another Weight Watchers Clinic strength training routine. Now don't forget to track this workout in your app under WW Clinic Body Weight Exercises. Now let's get into the routine. Hi everyone, I am Justin and welcome to your next Weight Watchers Clinic strength training routine. So today's routine is going to be all body weight and it's going to be entirely standing. So up to you if you want this a yoga mat for yourself. What's gonna to happen today is through these six exercises that we're going to do, first time around, I'm gonna demonstrate where you should be feeling it, what you should be focusing on as we move into the second and third rounds. If you are sticking with me for that, you're gonna have a built-in 30 second rest in between each exercise. So for today, I do wanna have a little bit of wall space, okay? We're gonna be doing two things that are going to be involving the wall. So the first exercise that we're gonna do is gonna be a wall sit. So I'm gonna go right up against this wall and what we're gonna do is we're just going to bend our legs and we're gonna keep our back nice and flush to the wall. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold that for 20 seconds, all right? So here we go in three, two, one. I'll give you five second countdowns. Try to get to about 90 degrees right here. It's okay if you're up a little bit higher. You want everything to be done within your comfort and control. And at that point, we're already five, five seconds into this. 10, 15, you should be feeling that in your quadriceps, and 20, all right, awesome. Pop it back up. So everything that you do in all these routines should be done within your comfort and control. Um, I usually plug this. We do have a strength training support group, and if you are a clinic member, you can always message your care coordinator if you have any questions on these routines. Uh, if you're a WW member, just go ahead and ask these questions on the strength training support group in the Connect app. So the next exercise that we're going to do is going to be a shoulder tap and we'll have, let you do that off of the wall. So what that's going to look like is we're going to hold ourselves off the wall like this and we're going to tap the opposite shoulder. You can always make this a little bit more challenging if you want to go down on your, uh, into a push-up position like that and we're just tapping that opposite shoulder. So you can just see this with me. I will do this off of the floor. You can do this off of, off of a wall or off of a counter. This is gonna be working our shoulders as well as our core. We're gonna do 10 taps on each arm. So here we go. One, one, two, two, two. Try not to rotate your hips. Three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten and 10 all right that was great so that was our shoulder tap remember you can always do that off of the counter the lower you are the harder it's going to be so the next one is going to be a standing oblique side bend so what we're going to do for that is we'll go five on each side we're going to lift our hands up and we're going to go off to the side as far as we can come back to the center just like that so we're gonna hit five on each side, working our obliques, all right? So here we go, ready. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, and five, awesome work. We have three more exercises. The next one that we're going to do is going to be the body weight deadlift. So for this, I'll show you from this side, we're going to really think about sitting back and bending at our legs. I'm looking for minimal forward knee movement. So see how I'm sitting back instead of going on my toes like that. You will lean forward. This is gonna be a good, nice, friendly, knee friendly lower body exercise. So. We're gonna go through 10 of these together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, awesome job. We have two exercises left in this first round. So if you do have a mat, we're gonna go the length of this mat. It's gonna be about three steps. 
it's just gonna be a lateral walk. So we're gonna bend our legs slightly. We're gonna go one, two, three, and we're gonna go over and back three times, okay? So get that slight leg bend, sit your hips back. We're gonna work on our quadriceps and our glutes. So here we go. One, two, three. And that's one time. And that's two times. Just over and back one more time. Doing great, doing great. All right, awesome. We have one more exercise left. It's going to be called a kickstand deadlift, okay? So we're gonna go five on each leg. Take it slow, work on technique. This is gonna be good for balance. It's gonna be good for training your hamstrings too. Small step back and we're leaning forward, keeping our back nice and straight. So I'm on my toe of this leg right here, okay? So we're hinging backwards like that. So we'll go ahead and do five on each leg. And here we go. One, two, Three, four, and five. All right, let's get on over to that other side. Here we go. One, keeping our back nice and straight. This is a tough one to get down, but if you get this technique down and you can with practice, that would be great. So I'm keeping my back as straight as I can. One more. All right, well done. If you are sticking with me, We'll go ahead and move into our second round where we'll be back on the wall for our wall sets. So after that though, you will get your 30 seconds break in between each one. That will just go ahead and be built right in. So let's get up onto the wall and we're gonna go 20 second hold to give you that five second countdown. Here we go. Five. 10. 15 and 20 great so I'm gonna go ahead I'll show you the the wall taps off this for this one but we are gonna go through 10 total on each side so just remember we're right here tapping that opposite shoulder I'll see you back here in 30 seconds Let's go ahead and get into that wall tap. So again, I'm gonna be having my hands on here. Thank you. Here we go, 10. One, one, two. It's finally a nice day in Boston. Kind of nice. It's kind of like 62. <laughs> six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. 10 and 10. Although I am from Syracuse, New York and upstate. So any day that's above 60 is generally a nice day for me. So that was our shoulder tap. Uh, what we're going to do next is that standing oblique bend. So I'll see you back here in 30 seconds. Here comes that standing oblique bend, five on each side, hands up. Here we go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, and five. All right, well done. I'm gonna see you back here in 30 seconds for that deadlift.
Welcome back. Let's get into the deadlift exercise. I got my toes pointed forward, feet are shoulder width apart. Working my glutes, my hamstrings, my quadriceps as well. So there we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, really good work. I'm gonna see you back here in 30 seconds for that lateral walk. Here we go, we're gonna bend our legs, and one, two, three, and back, one, two, three, that's one, one, two, three, one, two, and three, that's two, and three, right on back, one more time, and awesome job. So that was your lateral walk, in 30 seconds, we are going to do our last exercise. In the second round, it's gonna be that kickstand deadlift. See you back here soon. Let's get ourselves positioned for that kickstand deadlift. Here we go, we're gonna do five on each leg. Really focus on technique for this one. Hips back, back stay straight. Feeling that hamstring stretch. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, and other leg, here we go. One, two, Three, four, and five. Awesome job. We are gonna go ahead and move into the third round if you are sticking with me. So you're doing great so far, great job prioritizing some time to focus on your health. I think it's very, very important, so I'm glad that you're here with me doing this. So we're gonna go back to that wall sit, last round. Let's get up against the wall, here we go. We're gonna get 20 seconds on the clock, and here we go. Five. Remember, all of this should be done with a range of motion that you feel like you're in control of. 10, 15, 20. and 20. Great job. I'm gonna see you back here in 30 seconds to do that shoulder tap exercise. Welcome back. We're gonna go up against that wall again. 10 taps on each side. Let's go. Here we go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, and and good job. We're doing great. We are going to move over to that oblique bend in 30 seconds. See you back here soon. All right. 
get our hands in the air. Here we go. Five on each side. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. And five. All right. I'm gonna see you back here soon for that body weight deadlift. Let's go ahead and get into our body weight deadlift. Here we go. We're doing 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, all right. In 30 seconds, we'll be back here for the lateral walk. Welcome back. Here we go. Lateral walk. Last one of these. One. One. Well, that's three. I don't know why I said one, one. Either way, we're going to get three of these in. That was one. 1.5. Two. Keep those legs bent. And we just got to bring that back. And we did it. All right. Hey, that was your lateral walk. I'm gonna see you back here in 30 seconds for your last exercise, the kickstand deadlift. All right, here we go. Let's get into that kickstand deadlift. And one, two, three, four, and five. Great job. And other leg, here we go. One, two, three, four, and five, really tremendous work. Thank you so much for joining me for this body weight workout. Block the next one off in your calendar and we will see you back here for the next strength training workout. <laughs>